I always uh, I always ask first time guests this question, Dion. Uh, was there ever anything that you did stand up comedy wise when you very first started that you can't believe that you did on stage, like a bit or something that you did that you, like you you looking back on it, you're sort of embarrassed by. Like we saw a guy earlier, you know, Brian, who's been doing this a year and a half. You know what I mean? Uh, you, was there anything in when you first started? I used to be a comedian. That's what I hated. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but I hated that shit. You mean like doing I mean, yeah, when I first started, I went on jokes. stage and I was like, hey, how's everybody doing? Hey, great, give it up for yourselves. All right. Today, I was looking for a parking space and <laughs> like that whole shit. And like, and I just, I used to always get off stage like. How long did it take you to get man, over that? Yeah. Uh, One day I got super high and I forgot my jokes. So I went on stage with a piece of paper and read my jokes, and motherfuckers was, I slayed. Because <laughs> motherfuckers thought it was so funny that I couldn't remember my jokes. And I was just like, this is crazy. Like, everybody right. was losing their minds, so then I just started getting high every day. <laughs> <laughs> wow. In one of the most beautiful... I, I always get a great answer out of that question. I always get a great answer out of that question. And here we are. Back to the bucket we go. <laughs> I've asked you that before, right, Benji? You're on the record on one of those. Do you remember that? Really? Is there anything that pops in your mind? How would you answer that? The microphone? Um, I think I did a lot of racist stuff early on. And yeah. I still think racist jokes are good, but when you're like, you got to be a good comedian to make racist jokes work. And yes. so when you're yeah. young doing racist jokes, like when I look at the, some of the stuff I was saying, I was just like, that is some awful shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you, you see the comedians you like, and funny comedians are good at making racism funny and making it work and making it smart. So I'd say the most embarrassing stuff is just sort of like the racist shit that was just not original. Let's go back to some of Benji's <laughs> early uh, <laughs> racist material. Yeah, here. Twitter yeah, let's here. look at that. <laughs> let's take a look at his Twitter. <laughs> How badly I wish we had uh, Michael Richards <laughs> queued up right now. What, what's interesting, Benji? You went through like a, a like an angry Benji phase. Do you still angry, do you still do that? I stopped he doing angry Benji, but I think I'm going to bring angry Benji back. Yeah, please do. We ben love angry Benji. Benji, angry angry Benji. Benji's doing his same material, which is like you know, like about frappuccinos and like white privilege stuff. Uh, but that's like, not true but like frappuccinos <laughs> is white trash, <laughs> and they have like 800 <laughs> calories. Yeah. But but he screams it like with anger, like kind of like a Joe Rogan or something that, and it works. It's just like the anger mixed Brian, with the. Brian thinks frappuccinos are fancy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> White privilege, maybe frappuccinos well, with goat. Milk. Like you know, he beans. talks about the big life, like Lamborghinis and uh, frappuccinos. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know. Penthouse on Westwood Boulevard. Well, his, all his material is kind of like, like, kind of like, you know, being like rich and co coming up from a good place. You know, Benji's like a little spoiled. He's got a Maserati and eats a Wiener Schnitzel every day. <laughs> <laughs> I can't relate to this at all because all that stuff sounds really nice to me. <laughs> exactly. You're white trash. You're figuring it out, Jeremiah. It's true. I had a, a frappuccino with my wiener schnitzel today. Uh, I don't see what's wrong with any of this. Benji Aflalo introduced me to goat milk, and it changed my life. Uh, you know what? Benji Aflalo also introduced me to goat milk, and it is blatantly a superior milk. <laughs> I will tell all you guys. For those goat of you that, milk? if you ever, if you ever, it sounds awful. If you ever it's drink so milk, good. it's the best milk. It's superior milk. Why? Wow. <laughs> it gives you energy. What? Yeah, I, good I didn't hear milk. that, Tony. It's good for digestion. All like the milk gives milk. you wings. Nope. Yeah, like all all the nope. stuff that regular milk has. Goat mm -mm. milk has even more of it. It has no lactose. Nope. Like, think about nope. it. If you are what you eat, would you rather be a cow or like a goat eating mattresses, climbing mountains? This like, is so yeah. great to know. You'd rather be a goat, not yeah, some standstill cow that just <laughs> uh, some miserable slow animal. Man, <laughs> try goat I milk. A, I was waiting for that from you, goofballs. <laughs> Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, there they oh, are. Oh, man. <laughs> go as fuck. Yeah. All right, so. I, uh, I can't wait to go on Slauson. <laughs> What's that? The hood. <laughs> it, tell it, everybody about goat milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just for the record, do not buy your goat milk on Slauson. <laughs> That's, That's not awesome. the goat milk I'm talking about. You got about. boot leg DVDs and then goat milk. <laughs> what the fuck? 
fuck is this? <laughs> Speaking There's going to be one black dude to do that. That's in every movie, too. Speaking of Milk what and Slauson, which I don't think I've ever said those words before, <laughs> but is, is, do you know, have you ever heard of pet milk before? What? Yeah. Pet I'm milk? I'm learning so much tonight. <laughs> no. I pet actually milk? learned about this from uh, Tiffany Haddish, who is the, the dark Tiffany. queen of Slauson. Yeah, no, she is. Um, yeah, she works there. And she was telling me that, uh, that in the hood, that at those kinds of stores and stuff, they sell this stuff called pet milk. That's like cheaper, super cheaper than regular milk, and it comes in a can, and it just says pet milk. On what? It. <laughs> and that that's the type of milk instead of spending, so instead of giving the pets like actual like good <laughs> milk, that this is some kind of like hood milk. I thought it was just milk from other pets instead of cows. <laughs> I thought it was the most amazing thing. I kept asking her questions about it for like 20 minutes. I was, I was deeply into this pet milk oh, thing. Oh, fuck with that. I yeah. want all the comedians to know that it feels like court up here right now. <laughs> yeah. So yes. hopefully you do good. If not, they keep that in mind. You're Except in there's order in a court. Yeah, this, they don't is, this is crazy, right? This ben, audience is... Is Benji your public defender? Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even gonna say shit. I'm just gonna play with my toothpick. Like man, I wish. He's like, <laughs> I wish my lawyer had, wore a tie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I wear a tie, then my defendant looks more guilty for wearing a hoodie. So I had to dress down a little bit. That's true. Don't play kite games with me. I'll beat you every time. I know how to get my defendant off. It's true. Benji is Jewish as fuck. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs>